All right, here we go again with our accelerator problem. Uh, so a student, and this has to be a student because they would have a mass of 60 kilograms, can't be an elderly person, is riding an elevator, and uh, this person has an apparent weight of 700 newtons. You'll notice they weigh a little bit. They have a bigger weight than I would expect. I would have expected 600 newtons. Instead, they have a weight of 700 newtons. How fast is this elevator accelerating? And so obviously it's going up. This person weighs more uh, than they would expect. So they're sitting on a scale. Scale says 700. It's a nice digital readout here. And what the scale is actually telling them is what the normal force is. And so the normal force in this case is 700, 700 newtons. And what we want to know is how fast is the elevator accelerating. And so, in other words, we want to know what the uh, net force is. And the net force is going to be equal to uh, the normal force plus the force of gravity in this case. So these are the two forces that are acting on our, our body, uh, the body of that person over there. And uh, the net force, of course, is going to be equal to the mass times acceleration, which is what we're really after. The normal force was given to us as 700 newtons. And the force of gravity is going to be equal to uh, the mass of the person times the acceleration due to gravity. Whoops. 9.8, so we'll actually indicate that that's going down. Okay, and I suppose I could have thrown a 60 in here earlier uh, and over here. And 60 times 9.8 is 588. Okay, so that's 160 times the acceleration is equal to 120 newtons. Sometimes you can get that wrong. And so 120 newtons divided by 60 kilograms is equal to 2 meters per second squared. And so that elevator accelerating up at 2 meters a second every second. And um, it's making this person weigh apparently 700 newtons.